Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two top performing coolers, the Payless Assassin 120SE versus the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. Both coolers feature a dual tower design with two fans and offer their own distinct look. The Peerless Assassin is a top performing budget cooler that has six exposed heat pipes and two 120mm fans. This cooler offers a black and silver accent that looks great in most setups. Next up is the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, which has seven heat pipes and two 120mm fans. This cooler gives the look of a single tower cooler with its top plate covering the gap between the heat sinks and is known for excellent cooling with minimal noise levels. In regards to insulation, the Peerless Assassin is a breeze to install. However, the Dark Rock Pro design can offer some challenges during the installation process, but we know you're here to see how these two coolers differ, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Payless Assassin in blue has slightly better performance than the Dark Rock Pro 4 in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Payless Assassin begins to materially outperform at the lower RPMs, but this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the fans approach 70% fan speed. However, the Payless Assassin is noticeably louder after 70% fan speed. As we turn up the heat to 125 watts, we continue to see minimal differences at the higher percent speeds. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the coolers continue to perform similarly. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Dark Rock Pro begins to outperform slightly for a given noise level. And as we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that the Dark Rock marginally extends its lead. And if you're curious on how the Peerless Assassin stacks up against the golden benchmark, the NHD15, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.